Tabletop Time. My name is Jen. My name is Jazza. <laughs> that was unfair. You deliberately did it when I was drinking. My name is Dave. <laughs> my name is Elle. And the, my name is Murray. And I'd like to take a second to remind you all that we are streaming on YouTube in front of a live studio audience. Yay! Oh, wait, this, 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 yeah, there it is. Woohoo! Yeah. You can join us weekly for our streams. Come chat to us and say hi. Uh, you can also subscribe to us as well on YouTube where you can get our back catalogue of videos and find all of the other good stuff down there. Um, all of the links down in the description below. Or you can join our podcast listeners uh, and listen to us and our beautiful voices describing the beautiful adventure we're going on. We've gotten on... real good at it too. Well, it's true. Yeah. Um, we, are, we always <laughs> refer to our podcast listeners. If anything ever visual happens... We happen to uh, make sure to inform our mm. podcast listeners. So if you have a commute uh, or just like to listen to something cool while you work or study or whatever it is, something listen to a cool. podcast. Something yeah. crazy sometimes. <laughs> well, you look really great today. <laughs> Thanks for noticing, Jazza. What, what, is, what did what you is, notice? Is it exactly? the hair that you spent half an hour getting <laughs> to talk about the hair. <laughs> I need to talk about what happened off screen. <laughs> no, actually... I have a pretty cool new shirt. Hey! Woo! Well, that is a pretty cool shirt. And if you guys would like cool shirts as well as other stuff, like posters and whatever cool things we decide to add to the shop, you can go to www.itstabletoptime.com and check out our merch there to support the channel. Yay. And what other way can they support the channel? Well, the most direct way to support the channel <laughs> is the most... It's quite similar to the most direct way to support yourself... Uh, when a Dementor is attacking, attacking you know? It's oh a Patronus. It's, it's a, pa Patron, it's, it's a, a Specto pa Patronum. Patron, yeah. wow. Patron um. It's our patrons. Wait, I can do one of these. Wait, wait. Is it the crickets? No, what, I, I, won't, I won't plug it. Patreon I good cricket. if you do that. <laughs> right, <come on. laughs> uh, without our patrons we wouldn't be here you are the reason we have been able to do this now for three years literally Ooh. quite just full stop so if you want to see more of this if you want the production to keep going patron is the best way to support us and there's so many cool goodies such as uh, the homebrew rules for our Pokemon game. The first little bit went up on Monday, which was kind of like oh. our cheat sheet that I shared. But as it fleshes out, as it becomes more developed, our Patreon is where we're going to be sharing access to that. And I've embarked on the insane journey of making rules for all 151 uh, of the first generation. What's nine times four? Oh, no, not me. Nine times mm -hmm. four. Six. Thank you. Thanks, we have Mark. 36 <laughs> Pokemon fleshed out already. I've got six more that weren't even on this because they're in my one. There's a, there's a file called Dave's 151. <laughs> it's literally what it's called. Oh. Anyway, join Patreon. Find out. Love Get it. excited. Mm. I am excited to join our story to Continue you. Story? <laughs> Dear viewer, <laughs> what? Let's play Pokemon. Well, we better get into it because uh, we're late because everything exploded. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> everything went well. Hi, Alicia. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? Yeah. In what? Because uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. You're being sassy. You weren't yeah. talking about the new merch that you've almost finished that was for Call to yeah. Quest that we're going out. Yeah. Call to Quest. Yeah. Merch. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So probably announce that. I imagine probably next, next week. week. Yeah. Oh yeah. The Christmas, Christmas period. Oh. Uh, so, That's a great idea. in the last week's episode, what happened? Who's going to give us a recap? In the last... <gasps> wait. Some Pokemon were cool. In the yes. last episode of Pokemon, not officially affiliated with the Pokemon company. Fan made. <laughs> um, we, uh, we ventured north and eventually found our way to a campsite mm -hmm. where we met... A sweet little grandma whose name I cannot remember. I'm so sorry. <gasps> is it grandma? She was yes. before the campsite, I think. Yep. And ninja, ninja grandma. She's very ninja. deficient, uh, like head of uh, head activities. Chief or something. Stew. Yeah. It was like, expert Judith. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Mm. Yeah. Stormy caught her first Pokemon. That's where the excitement happened. And Pick a brooding a fisherman. Yes, brooding she fisherman. She did not catch a brooding fisherman. And a very <laughs> concerned and perplexed Nurse Joy. Mm. And Jen and uh, caught a Pokemon too. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I caught an Amplin. Very and, and happily. And back and forth to catch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had our first instance of like players deliberately grinding to catch a Pokemon, um, which was exciting. Was part of it. And I would also like to inform everyone that the egg is good. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. have you? Let's open the episode with an egg check. Oh, yeah, okay. I want to check my egg. Okay, make egg a roll. Check egg check. Egg check. Egg. Okay. Uh, First roll of the evening. It's time for 
Checking the this egg. This is absolutely thrilling and high stakes here. And exciting. Uh, ah. Oh, four <laughs> successes. Four successes. <laughs> All right. You checked so hard. You did. Just then. And when you checked the egg, to check the egg, <laughs> you, you received this information in return. Mm. The healthy Pokemon egg recently deposited reflects the energy of a robust creature to be encapsulated in its untouched shell. Can I ask, does it still weigh, like, yes. a ton? Yes. <laughs> Great. It is absurdly heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's when we need the thunk noise, when you pull the egg out yeah. to check it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I would like to spend some time, if possible, to fashion, yeah. like, a baby Bjorn. I'm imagining you already have. You've, you've got a baby yeah, Bjorn situation going on. That's why it takes two slots in your inventory. Yeah, great. Uh, but Thank we you. are, if we remember, you were all sort of leading out of the camp, shipwreck camp, where some survivors had gathered mm -hmm. under the kind guidance uh, of our lovely uh, ship services manager, Leah, Leah from Ship Services, uh, who very kindly told you sort of the lay of the land, told you not to worry. You insisted upon, you know, something to do, finding something to do. Uh, and she yeah, sort of suggested that, earn our keep. yeah, you, you want some food? It's time for you to do something. Uh, and you were heading out of town. Uh, you had not talked to a handful of characters by choice. Uh, and were proceeding onwards and you had just walked up to a man who looked like they were from sort of the the what would you call it like ship attendants but almost security like the checkpoint guys on the ship who's in the lead was was victor in the lead it is my yeah, turn i could come back to you <clears throat> greetings there my good sir hello um i'd like to inform you it's very dangerous past here, and you probably shouldn't go this way. Well, I mean, nothing's going to convince me to go this way like a bit of danger. He looks I around. Mean, looks down at child. Everything will be fine. Danger? Yes. Shh. <laughs> okay. Well, if you would, uh, he says, well, I don't feel comfortable letting you past. I don't know if you're any strong, any good, any capable. A few people have gone past already, but they were all very capable. Or fast. Or hard to stop. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and he sort of crosses his arms and stands vaguely in the way of like a 20 foot wide pass into the forest <laughs> between the trees. And he's sort of standing in the center with his arms crossed. So, you want an arm wrestle? Uh, how do how do we prove our toughness? To please you? say yes, please. Well, uh, I was assuming you'd have some mighty Pokemon that would do battles for you, and you could show them to me, and I'd be uh, able to rest at ease knowing that you weren't going to go and get eaten out there. Well, of course, we made it this far. We had to get to this camp, of course. Oh yes, but the route four, the sign says that's easy peasy. Oh, I see the Pokemon two hundred feet in this direction are much stronger. Yes. Of course, of well, course. It's all the me. poison. There's a lot of venomous types over there. And Maybe we should listen to this guy and like stay back and like study or something. Oh, we got to see the Pokemon. But we should understand the theory first. Guys, uh, it seems guys, dangerous. I think I've got this one. I take a step forward and I say, "You don't have to worry. Uh, we all have Pokemon, but I have the biggest Pokemon." And I let out a little leap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you can you make uh, some kind of sort of persuasion? I want you to convince me. Okay. What would you like to use? Um, mm. Can we all stand next to Lottie doing like that? Wait, Murray, do it that way. No, 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 other way, other way. Towards Jen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> can I use my breeder ability? Like I know I've bred. A tough Pokemon. Yeah, you can. Basically, my... you can use the jargon of your specialty to, like, you know, this fatty deposit here is good for oh, this yeah. and that. And she's a water type. That's an animal deposit. thing. Yeah, like you know, they can bite it and it won't pierce their skin. Yeah. Like you know, the, the dogs with the jowls chunky, and everything. So is she good? Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Can I get okay. you to roll that with mm -hmm. uh, intelligence? You're okay. gonna befuddle this simple man. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge over two. Yeah, cool. I got two. Okay, very good. He sort of looks you up and down, and you uh, 
basically barrage him with jargon to the point that his eyes glaze and he you, know, you sort of start talking about breeding cycles and traits that have been put in Pokemon that makes it tough and lot of leap and he's never even seen this Pokemon before uh, and he's just like yep okay <laughs> So really, there's nothing to worry about. I'm convinced. Uh, just be aware that uh, we don't know of many antidotes around, so uh, mm -hmm. be you careful. You this one, and I'll just hold out the Petra Berry. He looks at it, and he's like, what's that? Some kind of fruit? <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. It is a known antidote for poison. Does it work on humans? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a Pokemon trainer. I don't really know. Um... Did someone, like, assign you to blocking this path, or did you sort of just take it on yourself? I took it upon myself. It's my civic duty to this new burgeoning society. And uh, and he gestures over to um, a lady who's sort of standing by some boxes, and she's stacking things and cataloging things, and then uh, looks over, and you can see Leah from Ship Services, like, building another pagoda and, like, sort of repairing a chair that's been salvaged to turn it into some kind of bed. He's like... Ah, oh, my knees make it very difficult for me to do any manual labor and his eyes like shift left to right. So this is the best way I can help out the village. <laughs> I'm going to squint at his knees. <laughs> they look normal. Yes, well. He's you, letting us pass. Yeah, you, you, you keep on your uh, duty there, my good man. We'll just be on our way and we will see you on our return. Bye. All right, have fun. And he waves. Totally. And you all journey out. As we go along, can I ask you about your berry? Did you say that was an antidote? I did. Can we show a map? My Is dad map? says that uh, sometimes quite, yeah. I'm an but antidote can, because I don't listen area, to what he says. So I'm antidote. Oh, there it is. Is that how I say the word? Antidote? Very close. <laughs> okay, that was great. Well, uh, I'm a little worried about what he said about poisons and stuff. I mean... Seems very. It's okay. We got the antidote. Oh, yeah, it'll be right. So weirdly, humans don't seem to get affected by Pokemon very much at all. It usually just seems to be other Pokemon. Well, yeah, but they really can affect other Pokemon. I sort of pat Ignisilk, and he's like, "Please look." Because he's just <laughs> recently taken a beating from splashes of water from it. We'll look tiny, after them. What was it again? The tight oh, um, shell <laughs> Uh, as so you, you were traumatized. I, I, yeah, I, I've got like a literal trauma from a shallows. And it's more <laughs> sad and insulting given it's literally the smallest Pokemon <laughs> I've ever seen. Yeah. So, I love well, the luckily, I if, saw that, if all that damage came from that little Pokemon, every other Pokemon must be terrifying. <laughs> well, luckily, I saw Melanie was talking to Nurse Joy back in the camp. No, that was me. And me. It actually and wasn't me at all. <laughs> Well then. Who are you looking you, at? You probably have it all sorted then. <laughs> Lead the way, uh, leader. Um, I'm I know sure how to we'll help. help you from behind. I, look, enthusiasm doesn't count. It's Let's go. As you have been walking for the last little bit, the skies darken, not because of weather, but because the canopies of thick trees begin to blot out the sun. These tall trees are almost taller than most you've ever been in. This is somewhere between, it's already rapidly approaching somewhere between like very heavily wooded area and redwoods, like big prehistoric feeling trees, um, massive old growth trees. And you're pushing around and just the, the atmosphere gets a bit darker. The underbrush at your feet gets a bit thicker. The whole color palette of the area seems to shift just a couple of shades darker and you arrive on route three Ooh. and as you look to your left you can see one of those painstaking little hills that are so hard to climb up in front of you a thicket of trees too dense to get past and to the right some of that famous <gasps> long grass that you have to wade through yes you got may i please use my binoculars ability you can uh, yes. And basically, the number of uh, successes you get will indicate the number of Pokemon you find out about on your route. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. this time, 
I'm going to give you a penalty. So the first success isn't going to count because it's dark and trees are everywhere. Okay. And you don't have okay. a good vantage point. I am quite small, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? And with count. that first penalty, <laughs> your binoculars, you pull them up and they just directly point at the trees like 20 <laughs> meters in front of you. And now you can just see a trunk and you're like, they're not affording you any advantage spotting Pokemon on this route. So it's a mystery what you could encounter. Perfect. Well, I didn't I'm see glad anything. she's not in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think we should start off by doing the responsible thing and by seeing what's around. So I'm going to go up to the nearest copse of trees that uh, luckily Tommy has scouted out for us. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to use my ability. Mm-hmm. Forage for berries. Okay. Ooh. That costs a spirit, doesn't it? It does. It costs two spirit. Ooh. Of, Ooh. of me. Thank goodness you're strong of spirit. Well. Your adventuring spirit. That's a great idea. I hope we find another one of those poison antidote ones. Mm. So getting yourself ready, uh, you basically root around looking for something. You look for bushes and... You don't find any berry bushes in the sense that you had previously seen, like what the the old lady showed you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Instead, you just manage to find in a little thicket, almost like a Pokemon has dropped a little bundle of berries. Uh, And I'm going to get this ability randomly gives you a berry. Oh, sweet. Okay, I don't have to roll then. Uh, So you only have to roll in combat for it. Oh, I see. So you automatically pass that the target for locating berries is myself. Yeah, so the idea is there's a defensive <laughs> role because you can be interrupted. So, like, if Mewtwo was smacking you into a wall, you would fail if it was in combat. Just wait, berry. I gotta find a berry. <laughs> oh, a berry. Uh, so what do you find? Grab a random card. I've presented cards to Murray, if you're wondering. The face down, randomly shuffled. Is that the berry music? Oh, so a Pokeball slipped in accidentally. It wasn't meant to, so if you got a Pokeball... Damn it. Okay. <laughs> now, what did you get? Draw. Oh, score! I found... This looks like a roast berry. Ooh. This can cure a burn. Nice. Hey. There you go. <laughs> We're like, prepared for all sorts of Like a burn from fire? Challenges. Yeah, or well, the next time Melanie voice. sasses me. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, that seems like everything around here. Pat's, you know, hands off on pants. It's time to go on. All right, so you head south. Into the bushes. Into the bushes. Make a roll. Let's see if you encounter a wild Pokemon. So one one die to start with? One dice mm-hmm. to start with. Nope. Nothing. Okay. And you press on through. There's some tall grass, but it seems your entry, your loud talking, uh, Stormy's chattering and laughing and cajoling, I believe is the term. Uh, it means that there's no Pokemon to be found. They've all sort of gone into hiding. But as you round this bend, sort of following the natural path through this dense forest, Uh, heading in the general direction of a mountain that you can see in the distance uh, where you were indicated to go. You round the corner and you see once more a hastily dropped Pokeball on the ground. Oh, there's something. And it is not, again, a Silvco all-weather portable storage ball. It is, in fact, just a Pokeball. (gasps) Hey. Uh Stormy's going to, like, hit her binoculars and go, why didn't you see that? (laughs) (laughs) Trying to get them to work. (laughs) All right. As you continue to press on, there is a fork in the road where the path weaves left through some long grass or it continues straight ahead uh, without long grass directly in front of you. All right. Well, clearly the most straightforward path would be to avoid the long grass, but I think that sounds like a great idea. Since we just found a Pokeball, yeah. it must be a sign. <gasps> Adventure. So into the long grass. All right. Oh, no. Make oh, a random man. encounter roll. Oop. Nothing no. yet. Is that? Was it? Crit- it was a crit- critical oh, fail. Crit- yeah, yeah, yeah. Success. It's critical. Su- Critical fail. Oh, critical fail. Is how we did it last time. It's because we she, think she, of it is something we want. Good. Yeah, you know, that was that. You got it. We okay. need a good thing. Cool. Yes. You failed. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'll double check. Uh, if you get. We did Sorry, I got distracted with dancing. Time. I'm trying to find <laughs> my right. own rules. Mm. 
Well, I succeeded the one out of eight. <laughs> well, I'll count it on a critical <laughs> failure. Critical hey, failure. Okie dokie. Oh, no! Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Can I get you to roll this for me? Roll Watch dice. out, it might be a shallows! <laughs> yes! A four, my good sir. You rolled a four. Mm-hmm. Roll it, roll it, roll it again. <laughs> roll again. Well, I didn't roll it good enough. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> One. Okie dokie. As you are walking through this long grass, thinking of the warnings you'd heard about Pokemon and poison and things that were more dangerous in the area you will hear a loud thump something drops from a tree and then a a second as a massive snake coils up poised to strike it is it is absolutely ginormous put some put Uh, put, put our boy here (laughs) Uh, we need a murray victor victor and numbush Sweet Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> so I the, thought that was a tree! <laughs> <laughs> the Pokemon are printed to double scale, but Ekans is approximately like four to five foot high. When coiled, it is a massive, almost like an anaconda-sized snake. Uh, and a Pokemon battle commences! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you expect Ekans? I did not. Is that panicked love? The, no, the nope rope. This is a nope the bridge. The nope rope. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, in the first the nope action middle. of combat, you are commencing four little steps away from each other. Uh, the Ekans is going to advance towards you by one. What are you going to do, Numbush? Do the Numbush. <laughs> numbush, while it's at range, you use Leech Seed. So you're not moving? No. Nope. You use your Leech Seed? Well, while you're at range, the Ekans is going to use Acid. Ooh. All right, so the Ekans has a combat roll of five dice, and Acid has no modifier to combat roll. So uh, I'm going to roll, and I rolled three successes. Uh Uh-oh. I got four dice. I got three. It got three, so you hit each other. Hey. Okay, so at the same time as you seed this Ekans, the acid hits you, so it does plus two damage. So it does two damage. Do you have any defense? Oof. Uh, one. So it does one damage to you, uh, but you are a grass type Pokemon, a grass type Pokemon, weak mm-hmm. to poison type Pokemon. So I take two. So you take an extra damage, Uh-oh. and oh, if I hit roll a dice on a success, it has break one. It has break one, so your armor is now gone. No. So your, uh, for the Pokemon fans, your defense was lowered by acid. Uh, so it does two damage and removes your defense, but you've seeded it. Does Leech Seed do any damage? No. Okay, so it's just seeded. Yes. Okie dokie. So at the commencement of the next turn, Ekans, you roll a dice or I roll a dice for Leech Are you seed? poisoned? No. No. Okay. Also, I've got some more bad news for you. What's your car? Uh, Yay! Ekans's, <laughs> Ekans's Pokemon ability is mm-hmm. Intimidate. So yeah, you have negative that. one to your close range attack while fighting Ekans. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. I love that. Uh, now. This is going to be Victor's. Do I roll or you jealous. roll? Jealous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know not. For seed, Leech Seed. Uh, at the begin, beginning of their turn, a seeded Pokemon roll a die. Okay. I rolled a fail. Cool. They lose one health and I gain one health. All right. Oh. Ekans health drops. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, we will talk, I think, from, from next time. I want to make sure that you, the other trainers can do abilities and stuff in combat. Oh, but- uh, like if we want like to scanning like, with the Pokedex and stuff like that, I think that'll be cool. What is that? I say, <laughs> but I'm not yeah. prepared for it, oh. so don't do it. That'll scare me. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have Ekans' description <laughs> right now. Uh, it'll spook me. I know. But it's next time, big snake. Next time, it's a big. It's a danger noodle. Oh, this gosh darn <laughs> thing isn't working again. Like my binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 Ekans. 
Pokemon. Uh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> next round, what you doing? Cool. <laughs> Nambush, don't get hit by acid. Moving closer. Good strategy. It's also I suddenly turned American. <laughs> it's also going to move in closer, which means you are one step away from each oh, other. That is a big danger noodle. Uh, so you're still in range. It's going to use acid again. Curses. All right. Well, I can only use leech seed again, but it's seed. Actually, can I just like roll a guard or something? Uh, yes, sure. Why not? You can just roll your combat roll as a defense. Yeah. Uh, Two. Two. <gasps> so, uh, it's not a rule, but I was thinking about it. So it's a rule now, which was if you were doing a defensive role that just defends, you don't take damage on a tie as the advantage that it gives you the, the advantage on a tie. So you block. Nice. So I'm going to call it. Cool. You don't take damage. Yay. Next turn. I'm guessing you're going to stay close to each other. Mm-hmm. Hiss! Ekans slides closer. <laughs> uh, alarmingly starting to coil Actually, almost... It's still seated, so you need to roll. I do. I do. That didn't even land properly. Uh, it loses one life and you gain one. <gasps> Yay! Uh, a life. The Ekans almost starts coiling around Numbush threateningly. It's fangs twitching as it bears so down. Big. Uh, and it is going to use Poison Sting. Numbush, use Vine Whip! Go, Victor. Go, Numbush. I got three successes. Four. Okay. So. (laughs) Vine Whip is how much damage? It is three. Oh, no. Minus one for being within intimidate range. Yep. Plus one for being close range. Minus one for type advantage. Ah, does poison resist? Uh, grass. grass. Ooh, I don't know. If yes, it does. Okay, it is fifty percent effective against poison. Okay, so it's two damage. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's starting to look pretty hurt. Oh, is it? Yes. Next round. Do you want right. to use your ability? I don't My think he idea. said we can't yeah. do our abilities. He's yeah, because I'll cry. I'm not ready yeah, for it. We but don't soon. want to see Dave cry. Not Just yet. to see. Oh, is in terms of how What's it, it fits do? in the turn? My ID. Stats. Doesn't it cost spirit? Uh, it does cost spirit. Yeah, so okay. if she wanted to spend spirit, she could. But I think at this stage, it's probably not worth it. You've worked out that it's poison type. <laughs> hmm. All right. Cool. So this is a big, scary Pokemon. Mm-hmm. But we've done some damage to it. I'm going to be optimistic and see if I can save Numbush. A bit of a pain. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to attempt a Pokeball. Do you want an Ekans? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I just want to throw out there were already 34 Pokemon in the game. So. Ekans has got to catch them all. All right, Ooh, Pokeball. Look at that move. We can release them if we don't yes want to. Ginormous. Okie dokie. We're going to throw a Pokeball. So uh, describe your Pokeball technique. Or are you going to use your Ranger Stylus? My Ranger Stylus. That's the thing the Rangers have. Now, you left it at home. You've got Pokeballs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how a Pokemon Ranger Stylus would work. Are you kidding? Um, so, you know how it works. You basically roll a dice. Now, it is under mm-hmm. half health, but it is not um, affected by at one senses. health. So, you get negative one dice. And I would love... I would just adore to tell you uh, what that means. But unfortunately... <laughs> I don't know what, it's, like I don't know what it's catch rate <laughs> is. <laughs> it's not opening my dent Quick, document. make Pokemon noises to uh, distract. Ah! What's so Numbush's Pokemon? Chelsea. It's like it's like where did that Chelsea come from? <laughs> oh my god! That's just the one that's always in my You're sure must be worried sick about you. <laughs> <laughs> it says my file is too large to open oh, on right. Google Sheets. It's an Excel <gasps> sheet. I'm very confused. Uh, oh okay. no! Top stuff. Is it a that's, full moon, Dave? It's why? Well, I, I, I just need to know: is it a full moon? Is it just, in the game? Are we still? Yes, what? but our monitors just stopped working. Yours did. This is going Hello. great. Oh, you're, yours. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Okay. 
Thanks. Was that good? Hey, <laughs> hey Murray. <laughs> Throw your Pokeball. <laughs> I do. Roll your dice. Actually, it's not that. Like that. That's, that's the sound of the Pokeball. No, it's... <laughs> it's How many dice do I have? Wow. Oh. One. One? Roll your dice. Oh. Din, 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 din. Didn't work. It wobbles. Wobbles again. It shakes violently. Light quick, quick, comes out of the Pokeball. And then... <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, guys, I let that all leap out again. <laughs> Critical catch. Hey! It was zero dice, but I wanted you to roll. Because the viewers, viewers requested the suspense. <laughs> you wanted suspense. Oh. I gave you suspense. You didn't have to roll oh. any dice. I did not heart. see that coming. <laughs> did you actually? I did genuinely not see that coming. He rolled Rude. nothing. He rolled nothing. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I. Yeah. Yes, that was that was catch rate one. Goes wild. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Same button as the Ekans joins your party. Congratulations, Murray. The guy watching. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're the only one. With Hello. Oh. What? Why? Why have you done this to me? Danger noodle. Danger. Congratulations. Oh, just as I was starting to lean what? into it. And with that, Victor has captured his first Pokemon in 15 years, successfully bringing an angry snake onto his team. Didn't we start 10 years ago? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you didn't wow. capture any Pokemon when you were a child, so, yeah. Oh, didn't I? Okay. All right, so we're Go back. <laughs> we're back in the forest. We've captured an Ekans. Can you mark off a po point of experience? <laughs> oh, Jess. <laughs> One point of experience. <laughs> the fact that it came in at point. Can you mark off a point of experience? Can we please have that voice? Oh, I'm so sorry, voice. Sorry. So, can you yeah, can you give me that voice for a second? Can you please hand me your card? Rage against the machine. <laughs> Bodily. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my it's god. a thing of beauty. We gotta oh. tape up those buttons. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, at this rate, by the way, we were planning on doing Lucha Vera in uh, <laughs> sort of early next year. It's Pokemon's gonna be going till mid mid next year, the Pokemon <laughs> campaign. Um, I just had a thought. I think you know the like mega evolution for the like newest Pokemon, the past Pokemon, they make them really big. Mm. That's a lot of leaps eating one of those things to make them really big. It's basically I the giant you mean Gigantamax, yes. not mega evolution. It's permanently the, the worst thing with Mega Evolution is you can't have it permanent for Gardevoir. That's my one comment, because Gardevoir's Mega Evolution is just... Mm, that was very it's funny. Awesome. Uh, so. Are you naming it? Victor! Yes. Oh! What are you naming it? I'm going to release it from the Pokeball. Give it a big pokey hug. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Biggest. 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 No! <laughs> I don't want to ask what your next Pokemon's going to be right. named. The last four S's are silent. Okay. <laughs> what's, uh, what, what's the evolution of Ekans? Arbok. No, sorry, if you watch the anime in English, Charbok. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was never Arbok, it was Charbok for some reason. But yeah, well, I, want to call I have it a suggestion Beckers. for what to name Arbok when you get to that, but let's move on. You don't change he their name when they evolve. I think, if, I think you should. Okay. All right, Biggest. Biggest the Ekans has joined the party. And as we're playing Nuzlocke, if your Pokemon faint, they're dead. Uh, moving on. What? Uh, I'm sorry. What? Sorry, what? No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, just, I'm kidding. There's, this is a lighthearted campaign. There won't be any dark, poopy stinkies in here. Uh, let's continue. Uh, Victor, spending so much time. Like, this Ekans, out of the Pokeball, starts being exceedingly affectionate like Aww. it wraps around you in like a wrap cuddle just wanting and makes it hug. he literally dropped out of the tree because he saw trainers and was like i live on a deserted island Aww. this is my chance to get a trainer uh and he's now <laughs> sort of making it difficult for victor to actually lead the group <laughs> as he's being like hugged by this ekans Aww. yeah and that bush is like in there somewhere that bush is in there somewhere it's just like the tail sticking out it's like <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright guys! Um... <clears throat> your Brad's, turn. Brad's like in the middle of like reading about the crushing potential of its like wrapping like grip Good. and like just looking at this hug quite uh, nervously. Come on, cousin, and I'll poke you with the back. I feel She's like, really warm. Do you know what? I feel like a touch of caution would do us all a little good. It's, its head lolls to the side, looks at Brad, and this like drool mixed with venom oh. pours down its face and it just goes... Beckons. <laughs> and then it like rubs its head into Victor. <laughs> well, it's good to see you made a new friend, but uh, we have some work to do. Shall I? And pushing onwards, mm, heading in go. the same direction past the tall grass, you see uh, the little ledges to your right uh, sort of lead up. You There's a gentle slope. Uh, there's a few bits of rock uh, leading up a hill. And you can see some long grass if you want to continue in this direction. You've come from the south and there's some grass to wander through. There's grass, wild Pokemon everywhere. Come on, guys. I can see a clearing to the left of the grass. Follow me. We shouldn't have to be in the grass for too long. All right, wild Pokemon encounter roll. Okay. Well, let's I'm do. I'm going to catch some Pokemon, some Pokemon, some Pokemon. Some Pokemon. I certainly hope not. <laughs> The one person who doesn't want to bump the Pokemon. <laughs> and you safely navigate your way through the tall grass. Uh, as you we walk onwards, you, you briefly, briefly... Can I get a perception check from you? Can Whoa, I Can cool. I get a acuity, uh, ideally, and then something... I'll let you bear, pair the trade if acuity. you want. It's an eyesight one, so it really yeah, feels acuity is important. Intelligence? Yeah. yeah, can I get you an acuity intelligence yeah. check? I sort of walk out two to Two successes. Her. With two successes... <laughs> Just, just on the edge of your vision, like almost uh, when you sort of look and catch someone, they're doing something and then you kind of, they stop doing it. You just spot these two small trees, uh, but you could swear their lower branches are sort of swinging at, at like waist height, just like a couple of little low jabs, like practice <laughs> jabs, like a boxer, <laughs> right at crutch height. Uh, but then like, as you double take and look back, they're just trees. Like you could swear they're just trees, but it, yeah, the- swinging really violently. Mm. I walk out of the grass after everyone's like, and there's like the big snake is just following me. It's like, like sort of <laughs> head nuzzling me like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Brad. I, 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 we might have scared any Pokemon away. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'll get us through this safely, everyone. Don't worry. And I head up and to the left in the opposite direction from those trees. They seem a little fighty for trees, even though they're mm-hmm. standing too still right now uh, I, I head in the opposite direction and it doesn't take you long to see a young boy standing in front of a cave entrance uh, uh, hi there uh, I'm Brad these are my friends oh, small child quick hi. I guess get in this bowl <laughs> what's your name this boy looks up at you. He's got sort of like dirty blonde hair and uh, blue eyes, wearing a uh, like some some khakis. He's got a shirt, a white shirt on, but he's throwing yeah. a hoodie on in the weather. And he's looking up and he's sort of looking around. He looks about 12, looks at just at maybe 11, maybe around Stormy's age. Uh, he sort of looks up. Hi, uh, I'm Luca. Hi, Luca. Have you seen my brother? What's your brother's name? Silas. I bet you he's out there trying to one-up me. He's always trying to get better than me, but he won't be. I'm the best. Okay. Uh... I'm the best. <laughs> Does your brother also like shorts? Who doesn't like shorts? <laughs> That's True. a good point. I sort of like just to myself. <laughs> Uh, was Luca the Short one we buttons. met on the way in? No, okay. that was uh, Carl. Carl, you're youngster Carl. Gotcha. Yeah, your this, this, this kid's like a few years older. Damn Carl was sort of like seven. This kid's more like 11, more like a regular Ash Ketchum aged Pokemon trainer. Well, hey, Silas. Uh, we're uh, just investigating the island. As you can see, I'm a scientist and I'm studying the uh, happenings here to see if we can find some way to communicate with, uh, you know, people offshore. What are you standing in front of there, buddy? Uh, I'm waiting for my brother. What's, and I, like, point behind him to what seems to be an opening of a cave. And he says, oh, it's a, it's a cave. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> what's in there? Oh, uh, he looks at you all. I don't know. Okay. 
Um, oh, it's pitch black. You can't see in there. It's too dark. Really? Yeah, that's why I'm waiting for my brother. Is he in there? Well, no, because then I wouldn't be waiting for him. Y you ask silly questions. Can, can we just... Can you just <laughs> scooch and we'll... We gotta explore, so... Uh, uh, maybe. Have any of you got any gym badges? Uh, From where? From anywhere. Hoenn, Sinnoh, I don't care. Um, I have a doctorate pending, and he, sir, <laughs> which is... He pulls open his, uh, his, like, hoodie and reveals his white shirt underneath, uh, which has got a symbol, um, of the Pokemon region he comes from which is totally written down somewhere, the Hoenn region. Uh, and he has two badges pinned in under oh. his jacket. And then he like closes it and shrugs. And then he's just like, I think that'd be a little bit reckless for you to go in there. It's probably too dangerous for you guys. All of a sudden feeling like weirdly uh, out qualified <laughs> by a <laughs> small child. Well done, mate. Two badges. That's very nice. Uh, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out for Luca. Um, this is Luca. Silas. No, this is Silas. This is, I'm Luca. Silas is my brother. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to be the best. Oh, did I get it mixed up? Yeah. I thought you were Silas because you said <laughs> two words and I put them in each other's place. If you, um, if you see my brother, send him my way. I'm waiting for him. And, uh, also if you keep going in that direction and he points sort of back the way you came past the trees, uh, or vaguely in the direction you're already heading, you'll find my dad. Uh, he's a gym leader. He can probably help you out. No way. Oh, about that. And I like look sideways to those bushes. I'm a little nervous to those bush things and I'm not sure we can get past them. Any idea how we can, uh, you know, you mean, uh, like, if you've got the hidden machine cut, you could teach it to one of your Pokemon and you could get rid of them? Yeah, how do we get that? You you find it or you get it given to you. A lot of gym leaders have them. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I turn, like, not subtly to my team. I'm like, because in strategy, right? Because this is how you mm -hmm. on a Pokemon mm -hmm. adventure, which we're on. Mm -hmm. And his dad. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dad doesn't have cut. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> this isn't <laughs> like. Wait, Brad, he's cut. <laughs> this isn't like a video game. Uh, it's not going to be that convenient. I don't know if anyone in our shipwreck crew had. In fact,. From what Dad said, nobody has cut. That's what we were looking for, so we could get past. Uh, you'll see if you go and talk to him. Mm. But anyway, as I said, if you see my brother, send him here. Yeah, okay, we will do. I thought I'd made real progress for a second. And I sort of like <laughs> duck away and head back to navigating. But there is something you spot. Ooh. Ooh! <gasps> Knowing that Murray just got a Pokeball, sorry, Victor just got a Pokeball, I like sprint this way! And I run ahead to the <laughs> capsule. <laughs> This time, you find a Slifco capsule yes. as opposed to a Pokeball. Voltorb uses self-destruct. And you pop it open. <laughs> what's in the... Oh, Let's I find out. To, what's in the box? A Pokeball! Hey! Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, my gosh. I love a Pokeball. in a Pokeball. <laughs> I never would have nice. guessed. Nice. The outside of the Slifco packet has like the ship souvenir wrapping, like it was from the ship's <laughs> gift shop that you could buy a, a commemorative Pokeball. It's got like the SS Costa written on the on the Pokeball on like a little plinth, but it's a functioning Pokeball. You quickly shake the plastic loose of the functional Pokeball. Uh, now, there are two ways you could go. You can go back the way you came, or you can go down this promising looking ledge uh, but that would be a one-way trip, and you're pretty sure that would lead you right back to where you came from at the very start. Mm. I'm looking very carefully and strategically at that ledge. What if we go back the way we came? Why? Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> do, you want me, do you want me to give you some math? Sorry, he wants to go back in the grass. Uh, to, to get back to the fork in the road that you were at where you chose left instead of straight ahead, 
if you go back the way you came, you go through two patches of grass. If you jump down the ledge, you go through oh, one. Oh, no, Brad was thinking about, like, going back to civilization and... Oh, already yeah. leaving. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's leave. enough adventure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Act on by a child again. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, all right, all right. So, no, I'm going to go venturing. Well, look this, for is, silence. this is still the least... This is if you only want to go through one group of grass, jumping down the ledge is... Oh, the, it's yeah, less... Less Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you hop down the ledge. Yes, I you hop guys down the ledge. Sort of do the really uncomfortable awkward like like scoot butt scoot off a ledge that's only like three foot high and then like drop down <laughs> just don't leave anything up on that <laughs> riser you'll never get it back and you head down through looking a patch of grass looking at that uh, the way we came in but walking ahead and two dice now two dice all right okay oh all my right. god we're safe <sighs> you are in fact safe all right okay you can just like the Let's drop it on here for a second. Uh, so who's talking? We got uh, Jazza in the lead. Uh, Okie dokie. So All right. Start pressing onwards. And I guess we're going through another patch along gla- grass. Do you? Do, 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 yeah, well, do, well I'm going to go to the one. fork in the road and proceed. Are you, I'm assuming you've changed uh, from the map, so I can't go. Yeah, forward. I've deliberately changed from the map, so yeah. you can't go forward. Because uh, I'm just getting my bearings. Uh... So, okay. <laughs> you push onwards. We can now go to the map. Okay. There's a lot of tabs, and yeah. st- I go on tabs, and then if you go to the screen, it's the wrong tab. And yes, we go to the uh, we go to the other fork. You path. push onwards down the other forked path, and it rapidly leads into another forked path with long grass in either direction. You can go straight ahead, or you can go left. Um, you can even make checks if you want to make skill checks to kind of gauge what get some information. I'm up. We're, we are role playing. You're. It's yeah. not just a video game, so you can you can role play into it a little bit. Realizing that uh, heading to my left would, in theory, circle us right around to behind where we saw those plants. Yep. Uh, which I could sort of see loosely you behind. It yeah. sort of seemed fairly safe. So like it being drawn to the familiar and the safe. Brad heads to the left. Okay, you storm up through another patch of long grass in this dense and dark forest. And we're safe. And then... See, I told you I'd look after you all. (laughs) None of those Pokemon to spit water at you or... Brad, you're scaring them off. Aren't you a Pokemon professor? There's someone ahead. And in front of you... You see another child. Furthermore, <laughs> making you all feel slightly like everyone's like you, you're all too weak to be out here, and yeah, there's literal why? children. Where are your parents? And you realize, <laughs> you realize by the rate that this child is running back and forth with a large net. Uh, that Aww. this was the person they were gesturing as being like t- that the guy at the thing was like some of them are just too fast so this kid's just, <laughs> just bolted past the dude who's yeah. trying to stop people uh, and they're running back and forth but they seem very consumed in what they're doing hyper focused you could go and talk to them but they do look like a Pokemon trainer who has the look of eagerness to fight about them or you could attempt to make some kind of skill check if you just wanted to sneak past uh, there are four different directions out of this clearing. So you've entered a clearing where there are four different ways. There's like trees all around you, a wide clearing and four paths leading out of it. I want to, um, oh, can I use investigation to sort of get a feel for like what would be in any of those directions? Because there's a lot of choices to make. So do I yep. see anything in the horizon? Yeah, cool. Go investigation with some uh, wisdom. Yeah. Actually, Intelligence. Go, go. You can go because you, you're talking about looking around. So it's not investigation intelligence. I'm gonna go reflexes. You're using okay. your your yep. sense, your sight. Got two. Uh, so what you can tell is that the one of the the entrances would just lead you back where you just came from. Yep. Uh, so there's two that kind of clearly fork and vague around okay. the same way, yep. which cuts that out of your directions to go two other choices there's one that heads sort of you roughly gauge from two successes that it would head to where you saw the trees yep uh, the other side of the trees and there's one that seems to head directly in the direction of the mountain you're heading towards which doesn't necessarily mean it's going to wind up taking yeah. you to the yeah mountain. I'm with you I'm, I'm going to stay on the path towards the familiar as Brad does mm-hmm. and uh, head towards the 
trees. The trees. Now, which this is the one which will require be... either yeah. confronting the little boy with his bugs or sneaking, or sneaking past. All what right, if he's the brother? It might be. But we were meant to see Which means back. he's overqualified <laughs> and gonna want to battle me. I can see it in his eyes. Face your fears, Brad. Yeah. Look, he might have a shell off, okay? Brad, I can't take child. that. <laughs> I can't take that his risk. Brother it's Luca true. brother was looking for him. He's not looking very hard, I'll be honest. I'm doing the big puppy dog eyes. Don't use those on me! <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because she has a card called Puppy Dog Eyes. I actually well. do. And it looks terrifying if I do this. <laughs> this is like out of character, assuming we're all not going to be able to sneak past him, but just playing in character. Brad is like doing the the sneak, the <laughs> anime <laughs> sneak. Yeah, okay. So he's on. like trying to sneak up past the, the path. Shall can we do can like I be cool? stomping behind you? <laughs> You're sneaking and I'm making noise. No, you're, I'm happy for you to just roll as okay. you're the one take, okay. making the lead. We That's don't need to do it as a group. Uh, but so this child is very distracted trying to catch bugs with a big net. Uh, and I'm going to say you only need a two to sneak past him. Aww, right, I okay. want to sneak with investigation to sort of like for when he's turning and the timing and like what's his route. I'm analyzing that. I'm analyzing his movements almost like he might be on some sort of video game like loop. So, you know, I'm just trying to... Yeah. No, nah, he's more on, like, an ADHD sprint. So okay. there's a video game loop. Ah, uh, investigation. It's, it's pushing. It's close. It feels more like right. what you're describing is insight. Because uh, I don't want you to always use investigation. Yeah, it's the I'm third time you've I'm asked to use investigation. All right, let's... I'll go, I'll go uh, agility. <laughs> agility? Okay, so you're going to go fast? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say wisdom to avoid uh, cracking crack and sticks. Or finesse. Uh, finesse. Yeah. Your choice. Thank you. Uh, challenge level is going to be two, I which got you two. made. two. Yay. Okay. So you sneak past and we move past the trainer. Oh, we made it. I like how when each trainer is leading, the like various attitude is going to be completely different <laughs> <laughs> as to whether or not you dive into Did battle you see or. The fire in his eyes. Uh, yeah, that small child. Terrifying. Mm. He was definitely intent on the grass and that big net he had. He was looking for a fight. Probably I with all the small bugs he had. Have you for Pokemon? been hurt <laughs> by someone? Yeah, a shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shell. Yeah, shell. I'm clutching, I'm clutching uh, Ignis Silk like <laughs> protectively like don't you judge me. I'm looking after. I also love Come that on. like a bug catcher is probably the perfect fight for Ignis Silk <laughs> as well. Like, <laughs> this is the route that you should be on. Uh, but you do have to delve through I some long to, grass. I have to learn bravery through the course of the mm. adventure. So you stealthily wander through long grass. Yep. Okay. So I'm up to four dice now. Oh, the odds. Every <laughs> Brad is uh, <laughs> really <good> avoiding <laughs> fights. <laughs> don't worry, Brad. You'll, you'll overcome small hey, children one day. Yeah. Boom. Double, 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 yeah, double Pokemon. Double Pokemon. Double Pokemon. Double Pokemon. Double Pokemon. The shallows on top right. of a shallow. Yeah. <laughs> shallows. <laughs> oh, my God. If it's a shallow. <laughs> Two shallows and a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny trench coat. <laughs> it's still on the ground. I really want to see fan art. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> the tiniest, <laughs> most adorable <laughs> shallows and, like, Brad and Ignis Just are like, ah! It's so funny because people do that with spiders and you're like chilling with a yeah. spider. Yeah. Shellos! Keep it away from my Ignis. I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What am I, what am I fighting? I roll a die. So. <gasps> I've already rolled the dice. Oh, never mind. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> a tiny little leafy oh! creature. Okay. All right. Poddles oh up to God. you. Oh my God. It's so cute. Uh, it's sort of really? waving a little bit and like dashing these little little petal-like blades in front of it it's sort of defensively and aggressively as it waddles up towards a conflict. Do we have a... We we do. <gasps> you guys are just... Can we, we, ha just we have a mini for a every Pokemon. For all the Pokemon. We have a yeah, painted... Yeah, look at it. Look how cute it is. Oh, my God. Okay, let's show this. Show off how adorable it is. Right. We have literally printed and painted so minis cute. for every <laughs> single Pokemon. You guys, this is the best. Oh, it's very how good is that? Yeah. Now let's hurt it. Let's beat it up. I released both my Pokemon so we can watch <laughs> <laughs> and cheer on Brad. Where'd you go that Pokemon? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Silk. <sighs> Don't worry. It's okay, Ignis Silk. We got this. It's time for redemption. 
All right. Pick the silk. I choose you. Well, I haven't. I mean, I would only choose you anyway, but like, <laughs> you know. I always I choose, choose you. you. <laughs> Your silk jumps out. You are four steps away, as we've been saying, four and steps. so is the Fomantis. Would you like to move? Because, uh, well, I guess it should choose first. This is that one thing. Remember I said there's yeah. one thing we might add, and it was a speed stat? Yeah, I see. Just to determine yeah. order. Uh, yeah, so that's the only thing we might add. So it is, I'm not sure if it's going to move. I'm trying to find its card. Uh, this is the problem with having like 40 Pokemon. <laughs> Do you want me to look through some? I think it was literally in the... <laughs> Go, Brad! Yeah, it was we <laughs> in the pile. You can do it! Uh, it is going to stay away. Oh. Mm. So it's going to stay where it is. Mm. All right, Ignis Silk. Let's head in. And I sort of like walk ahead with Ignis Silk. So you move one step further? Yeah. yeah. And now is, is, uh, is Jazzar, is Brad doing any abilities? I'm going to pull out my Pokedex. Yep. And uh, let's see what this thing's made of, shall we? All right. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's not attacking you, so you won't need to make a roll. Um, so. Formantis. It despises having its naps interrupted. It sleeps Same. during the night and absorbs sunlight through its feathers. What? Feathers? I meant petals. <laughs> <laughs> I meant petals. Dave made a mistake I with his like, brain. What? <laughs> I love a Pokedex that correct. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm a prototype powered by ChatGPT. I am to Eris. Is it? Uh, does it currently seem to be sleeping? No, it's coming at you, going. Whoosh, whoosh, oh, it's coming. Whoosh, at, okay. Whoosh. Well, it's standing still, yeah. going whoosh, 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 <laughs> aggressively. It's What's, like defensively. Like Bart Simpson, like, and if I happen to run into you, can I have a Pokemon sound for me? What does it sound like? Fomantis. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you. Fomantis. Yeah. Fomantis. Uh, and it's kind of swaying time. cutely. Fomantis. Fomantis. Uh, all right. So it is going to use sweet scent as it begins to billow its body around and the petal blooms Aww. on top of its head start to sort of spray a dusty spore into the air. You just turned into one of those car shows. Yeah, it's inflatable. Wacky 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 uh Ignisilk, you spider web. All right. So I'm going to roll my combat roll. I have five dice. And I, I have got four successes. Five dice. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be another one. I just know yeah, it. You can do it. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey, five oh, dice. Yeah. You got five successes. Five successes. Yeah. You hit. What does it do? What does your move do? Spider I, silk. Uh, stun one. Okay. And if I hit target, cannot escape next turn. Okie dokie. Next round. All right. Yeah. It is going to attempt to use sweet scent again. Ignis silk. Amber. Wait, wait, it's another turn, so move. Yeah, you can move. It's not moving. It's yeah. staying where it is. Okay. Mm. Uh, it rolls. And gets one. That was another success. Two successes. Oh, did that get knocked? That or was it one. three successes? Yeah, that one got okay, so two successes. Two successes. Oh, All right. Oh, supply. So, so your ember, your little fireball bounces across and hits this Pokemon. It's three damage. Three damage. And it's super effective. Yeah. <laughs> so it deals an extra damage. And Fomantis seems very hurt by this oh. as a cloud of sweet uh, petal blossom floats through the field. And uh, really? Ignisilk sort of inhales some of it and starts to get a little bit hazy. And Ignisilk is being affected by the sweet scent. And sweet scent says, um, until end of combat... Fomantis counts as succeeding tied combat rolls. Mm -hmm. Oh. So next turn, yeah. if we get any the, other turn. Okay. So now ties over a win for Fomantis. All right. Good to know. All right. Next turn movement. How injured does it look? Quite. But you don't know because yeah. you don't have the deets. All it right. It took a big hit. Let's give this a go, Just shall we? Singe marks. And I was like, ah, I like so pull no. out a Pokeball and okay. uh, 
sort of like turn it over in my hands, just making sure that, you know, the equipment is, is ready for its desired application. You're doing great. I love that. Like me. Like, <laughs> you probably have to like hold her back by her shirt so she doesn't run in. Yeah, not right. <laughs> Ekans just like holding you by the collar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come Brad back. has flashbacks to when he used to have to play softball in high school and never good like <laughs> so he's like underhand very careful <laughs> yes yeah you so, like doing the, the um, under, under oh, yeah. balls. Yeah. I, I have a question it's an interesting one. Oh, you have to hit the pokemon we didn't do this with murray I like Pokemon so when you choose yeah. to use a Pokeball, you have to roll a combat roll against the Pokemon oh, oh, to see. hit it first. Which in the next yeah. round of I combat? Do that. Yeah, so because it's in Ignisilk oh, doesn't get I to attack. See. So uh, shit, shit Fomantis it. is attacking Ignisilk. Okay. Uh, so Ignisilk just gets to do a defense roll. So if you just do a defense, <laughs> just a combat roll for Ignisilk. Uh, Fomantis choose to do spider web for example? No. Okay. So because you're using its turn by throwing a Pokeball just like the game. So it's using Razor Leaf against Ignisilk. It got one success. I got two. So it doesn't do damage. Okay. Uh, now you throw against one success with your Pokeball, oh, okay. which is your trainer skill. Which is three plus, plus two, it's which paired is ability, intelligence based. Plus yep. two for the Pokeball. Plus two for the I Pokeball. Does Pokeball say plus two or is it great ball? It's plus, plus two. two for Pokeball. Cool. Yeah. So you're only going to be one. So you very much hit. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now here was the question. Should I be rolling the catch? I statistic. think the players. It's more satisfying for the players, but then but then there's no concealed information. Whereas I could do like a dramatic like. Okay. Does it, yeah, I'm which, with you. I, but I want you guys to decide, not me. I think if you have to roll now to hit, then you can roll to catch. I think that makes sense. When before, okay. yeah, yeah. because I, I'm concealing because I know you how need, many dice. A roll, but we have yeah, rolls. Right. Yeah. I, I like Everybody the surprise. Look away. Okay. All right. All right. So. You have damaged this. Because here's the thing, right? You don't know how damaged it is. Yeah. Now I don't have to tell you. Yeah. I I know it's catch rate. Yeah. I know how damaged oh, it is. Oh, Because we could deduce by the amount of dice we're rolling with. Yeah, yeah. Because I'd be like, okay, negative one, negative yeah, two. That makes sense. If you so. succeed, though, then you get told how much yeah. damage it's on. Dave's rolling. Watch us never catch right. another Pokemon again. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally rolling in his lap. The Pokeball shakes once. Shakes twice. Shakes three times. Ah, oh, it appeared to be caught. It breaks open. The Pokemon shatters. No, and Fomantis is standing there angrily as the broken pieces of Pokeball splatter around it. Uh oh. Well, the classic frame. Uh oh. It appeared to be caught from the video games. It wasn't caught. You they failed. You subverted my expectations <laughs> twice. <laughs> oh no. Mantis leers angrily as it prepares uh, for the next round. Is Ignisilk moving forward? Can I have the Pokeball, please? No! <laughs> Keep trying, Brad. Uh, Come on. Tiny from Mantis, like, rears back, shrieks, and pulls out a big knife. <laughs> Do, does Ignisilk move closer? Ignisilk does. Wait, hang on. Sorry, to, this is. I totally. What's that? Forgot to. Spider web. Yeah. It can't escape. No, but I didn't. We didn't do any damage calculation. Does it do damage? I think it does. Where's I it? Think it's plus it zero. I think you, we've just stuffed up the card. So if it's plus zero, I would have done. Uh, it should be nothing. I fixed this on sand attack and supersonic. Okay. So they were just. I'd had them at like negative damage, or they, they shouldn't do any damage because it's not a damaging move. It's okay. string shot, basically. Yeah. Okay. So it should just say defended, but it's, <laughs> that's my mistake. I'm just nervous that the only moves I have will kill it. But you can opt no, to throw go, another Pokeball. Yeah, throw another Pokeball. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you I want have to. Another Ball. So let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tiny so <laughs> Fomantis is going to use. It is. It is. It's so yeah, ironic. I love it. It's, it's pretty. It's in character. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fomantis is going to use If I have a master ball, I swear it's <laughs> that's just gonna be worthy. Yeah. 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 Fomantis is going to use Fury Cutter. Oh. Uh, just defend yourself, Ignisilk. I'm bound to catch it this time. And having the realization that I was removing point. the spirit cost from this ability that accidentally ended up with a spirit cost on it, but it shouldn't have because it's Fury Cutter. <laughs> this is, um, yeah, it's, it's dawning on Brad that this might actually be a catch because he's got a 
great ball. And that yep. was really close last time. He knows this. Like, he's looking at the ball and it's mechanically superior. Like, it's clear. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, this This will work. It must work. Yep. And I'm going to actually catch a real Pokemon. And this tiny one foot tall, cute little plant. <laughs> it's like, his heart is on like, fire. Sp- like bursting out his chest. This Did is- you roll to see if you burnt? No. No. No, I didn't. Yeah. Roll a dice. On success, this attack has burn one. Is it on success or critical it's success? success? It's just on success. Okay. Let's see, shall we? Mm-hmm. No. no. Okay. You'll be thankful for that as it. you go to throw your great ball. Yeah, I was going to say. All right. Okay. Great it ball. It got two successes on its attack, so you beat, need to beat two. I which beat you do. Two. So Woo! the great ball hits. Ignis Silk's defense roll. Or did Ignisilk get on the defense roll for Ignisilk? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Ignisilk's defense roll. You can he, do he it. Got all oh, 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 you got all successes. Okay. Do have all successes with three crits. You, so, you so team. Ready. Yeah. So the great ball sucks in Fomantis and the Pokeball hits the ground and begins to wobble. Ball sit still. You captured from it. Yes! yes! Brad, you did it. No, I'm not into Star Wars. Yay! I'll pat you on the back. <laughs> it's tiny. Oh my god. It's so. Oh. You are adorable. Collector of tiny Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> also, did. kind of sciencey. It's like a absorb oh sunlight. Gosh. Mm. Hey there, little... It can be a little plant, like a plant for your desk yeah. in your office. It's a succulent. Hey there, little guy. It just goes to sleep. Oh, in the man. Yes. <laughs> and it looks all burnt and singed. Oh, and, it's, oh. and it's like... <sighs> did you get it out of your Pokeball? Or were you just talking to your Pokeball? I just, I, I'll let it out. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. What did yeah. you do? I, do, I'm, I well, it's, Isn't this part of it? This seems really you cool. Have heal, you have to heal it. You have to heal it. I don't have anything. It gives you a thumbs up, <laughs> but it looks injured because they I'm like sorry, fighting. Buddy. <laughs> it also likes snaps too. Their fire is only, it's just highly carbonized. You can be lit on fire by a Pokemon and you'll be fine. Charmander's flame is 36 degrees. Wow. Ash Ketchum is often sooted up by That's Charmander true. and it just leaves a lot of charcoal on you. It's right. fine. It's fine. Get sooted up. <sighs> suit up. Yeah, suit up. <laughs> looking over your shoulder. Wow, it's really impressive. It can give you a thumbs up using a leaf. Oh, oh my gosh. I just realized what? if I come across a shallows, I have a grass type. <laughs> <laughs> that you do. I'm on the way to becoming a Pokemon trainer. This is what it feels like to get a gym badge. He's really excited. I'm like so distracted that like I, I clearly would not be capable of leading the group at this point. I sort of turn around and then in the distance we've made so much commotion that there's around a tree there's just like young bug, bug catches staring at us. Really. <laughs> I, he, he, you can see him sort of 100 metres behind you just running in circles after this butterfly that he's trying to catch. <gasps> that looks like fun. Stormy's going to run up after it because she's taken the lead. When you get You're in the back. lead. Yeah. So you run to the south to and just run directly into the Pokemon trainer. Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> he literally bumps into you. Bang. <laughs> oh, fatality. What? Well, where did you come from? <laughs> Crikey! What you get? Did you get a Pokemon? Oh my gosh, I've got Pokemon. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Yeah. I'm a Pokemon trainer. <gasps> Let's battle! <laughs> and he, his eyes are like bugged out. <laughs> literally bugged out. <laughs> the tonal shift is too much. <laughs> I can't wait to choose you! I killed you so sad for so long! Kaboom, I choose you! <laughs> And he oh, throws out a Pokeball and a Caterpie. Oh my god. <laughs> goes onto the battlefield. Hey, okay. Sam, let's get you. Uh, where are you? Uh, oh, uh, that's me. This one? No. Mark so an experience you. on yeah. your Pokemon, by the way. Ignis oh, yeah, won yeah. a Pokemon battle. Cool. <gasps> All right. Who who do you choose? Kabloom. Kabloom. Out we go you. with Kabloom. I'm. And an awesome trainer! Uh, and I love bugs. Do you like bugs? 
Do you know what a proboscis kinda is? Kind of cool. What's a proboscis? Well, it's the little bit on the front of a butterfly that sucks nectar out of flowers. <gasps> I'm trying to catch a butterfly. Does it hurt the flowers? I don't know. <laughs> We should ask them after we battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How so, far away are you guys? Four, uh, four uh, steps away. Uh, Caterpie, um, move forward. A new string shot. Uh, uh, Kabloom, stay where you are and use Gabler. Thunder Wave. Nice. All right. We are three steps away then. So what's the range on Thunder Wave? Uh, up to M. Okay, yeah. you get to attack. Uh, string shot isn't long range enough, and I just do a defensive roll. So two successes. Okay. Good strategy to literally not move, actually. <laughs> yeah. Stormy knows what she's doing. Now that these dice are like matte and drawn on nicely, they actually feel quite nice Two. to roll. I don't know what uh, you guys so you think. both match, and both as we defending. discussed, as a pure defensive roll, <laughs> you yeah. don't get it. <sighs> Great work, how to be the best! Now wiggle forward, wiggle to victory! And it moves forward one more. You strange shot! Okay, try Thunder Wave again. <laughs> Just watching these two children. <laughs> yeah, like, they're so excited. Yeah. And the trainer is going to use their trainer ability. Uh -oh. And he does like a like a Kamen Rider pose, uh, like an action Power Rangers pose. And he says, bug business! And he just, <laughs> uh, he just throws like uh, uh, his bug, bug net. He just like throws a pile of leaves at you from the bug net. <laughs> and and more, more importantly, at the Pokemon. Uh, and it gives your Pokemon negative one dice for this turn to its combat one. roll. Negative yes. one? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> and two successes for Did String Shot. One success. Oh, oh, no. You have been hit with String Shot, oh, which ah. has, all it does is stun one. Oh. Oh, what does it do? So it just reduces your dice by one next turn. Again. And then the, the trainer huffs and he's like, ha, how did you like my special move? I thought it was unfair. <laughs> You're a type of trainer. You've got special moves. Us bug catchers have heaps of tricky bug business, but I'm out of leaves. So, uh, Caterpie, move forward <laughs> and uh, string shot again. I'm uh, going. Wait, are they adjacent now? I yeah. think okay, so. Okay, no, tackle, tackle, tackle! <laughs> you know what, Kabloom? You tackle too. So you got neg one dice from that uh, stun? I do. Two successes for tackle. Two successes. Mm, so if that's a draw, <laughs> so Canopy just rears up on its tail and just like goes, <laughs> like its version of tackle is just sort of goes vertical and then flops on you <laughs> with its big head. Uh, and Kabloom does similar or something. Just it uses the big bug, uh, bear. Yeah. And they simultaneously like just hug. smack like into it. each it's other. Like the image of watching two children like standing like <laughs> enthusiastically with these little Pokemon just, just like that. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Canopy does two damage. What's my normal damage number? So you're doing tackle, so yeah. you have no ec bonus in close combat. So you do oh, okay. two damage, so two. but you have one defense. So it does one damage to Kabloom. Okay. And you've been oh, you've been tracking that from last time. Good work. I have been. I would like so Kabloom takes a hit. Stormy's a good Pokemon trainer. Uh, but you also have a big hit into Caterpie, which <laughs> reels back. <laughs> ha. Uh, okay, okay. Um, do you announce first? Caterpie's out! <laughs> Kabloom used Thundershock! <laughs> Caterpie gets three successes Ooh. as it rears back Ooh. and bumps again. And you can get your... And dive back from. Yeah, I got all storm. my dice now. Yes. How much HP did Mess him up. He's got mm. one left. Ooh, how many successes did you Three. 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 You got two? Yes. One more damage after no. after your defense and everything. Yes, Caterpie, the ultimate bug Pokemon. Soon you're going to evolve into Metapod, your beautiful shell, so hard and crisp. Oh. And then I'll be indestructible. I've got bad news for that kid. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the bad news? The, the, he turns into Metapod, he only knows hardened. That's what he was excited yeah, about. Yeah, that's the joke that I'm trying to tell No, a Metapod that you evolved from a Caterpie still knows Tackle and String Shot. Just don't really? catch them wild. Because oh. if you catch them wild, they only know hardened. If you raise them from a Caterpie, they know how to do this. 
Herb. <laughs> That's the ultimate the technique. Same move again. Which you did do pretty well. Yeah. yeah. True. So it's yeah. mastering it now. Yeah. Stormy's going to say, not so fast. And she's going to use her puppy dog eyes. Okay. This costs some spirit. What's it, it does. do? It costs two spirit. Oh, this is a big one. And all enemies targeting me or my Pokemon gain stun too. Okay. The Caterpie's eyes go all glossy and anime as it looks at you all sad that it's going to hurt your Pokemon. Do I have to roll? Uh, you're not getting attacked, so you don't have to roll. Ah, cool. Um, and the <laughs> o- but the other trainer, as you do this puppy dog eyes, the other trainer sort of looks at you, this like bug catching boy who's like the same age. And then in the moment, he's like, Caterpie, use tackle. He's like, wait, you're a girl. And then he rolls the die. <laughs> and Caterpie just looks kind of confused and does a lame tackle. And then, uh, and then rolls one success. Um, Kabloom, use Thundershock. <laughs> no, no mercy. Here's from Puppy Dog Eyes to murder. <laughs> you're trying to beat one success. Okay. Okay. You, I'm, I mean, gonna use, even. I'm gonna use the um, the neck to in- okay. can I increase to increase the it. Neck? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna do two successes from one. Okay. Canopy! Canopy return! Pokeball sucked up the canopy. Hey! Canopy, I choose you! What? Throws out another canopy in a Pokeball that hits the ground. How far away no. does it default? I think it always got to be four, right? Without speed stats. You reckon? That's, well, okay. Do you think it should be closer? I think closer if you're in the middle of a battle. Okay, two, two away. But so then don't the you spend your range. turn bringing out the Pokemon as well? So he's used Not his... when it faints. Oh, it fainted. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So the All previous right. Pokemon's yeah. been defeated. Yeah, yeah. And okay. he pulls yeah, out another. You mark an experience. Next Pokemon is like one step closer. I like that. So three <laughs> steps away. <laughs> Can we go for a new straight shot? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Um, you can um, do it, Stormy. Uh, thunder wave. Ah. Uh, string shot gets two successes. Oh, one, one success. success. How terrible! Uh, you have stunned one as it advances no. again. Stormy, be careful. Yes, wrap it up in string. I got this. You send a wave again, Kabloom. Canopy, you're my equal best, Canopy. You can do it. <laughs> uh, two successes. So which did you use this time? Um, thunder wave again. Okay, so yeah. you're trying to paralysize. Yes. Oh. No success. No success. No success. Yeah, you yes. Three. Three successes. Doesn't use spirit. Yeah. Three um, successes? Yes. You paralyze it. I have questions. Oh, it doesn't do any damage. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> Even though it's at range? <laughs> no, because it's uh, Thunder Wave is not a non-damaging move. Okay. So it's paralyzed. Murray, can you supportively join us in bopping in time with the music encouragingly? Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. So it's paralyzed. <laughs> this is the first time we've had a Pokemon paralyzed, I think. Yeah. Uh, possibly the have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the best bopping ever. Yeah. All right. So it moves forward to tackle you in its next turn. He commands it to tackle. Now, paralyzed at the beginning of their turn. They roll two dice on a critical fail. And any critical fail, I can only defensive roll. I do not get a critical fail. So I can attack as normal. Uh, tackle. Two successes. I'm also going to... But you're not stunned anymore. There's no more stun. The stun is so gone, yes. Normal but paralyzed stays every turn. I'm also going to... Does he have to tackle. roll every turn? Oh, no. If it was successful. Hmm? If if you got a critical fail, then... I it, just can only defensive roll. Yes. Yeah. But... So no. tackle shouldn't use spirit. I was going to say, tackle I don't have any spirit. damage that don't yeah, use spirit. Yeah, you say tackle shouldn't use spirit. Okay. It's the same thing I that I crossed really out confused. on this one. <laughs> is I think there's been a copy-pasting error in one of the columns, okay. and uh, spirit has been applied to everything in that row instead okay. of the ones that, that are supposed to. That makes way more sense. I'm yeah, going to yeah. use tackle. So tackle, anytime you've used tackle, <laughs> get your spirit, spirit back. Yeah. Back. Cool. Probably same with half of your Pokemon if that's happened. It's fine. We'll add speed now just so there's an excuse to reprint them all with the fixes. Cool, this is a battle of the ages. 
three, three successes. What'd you get? I got two. <laughs> so tackle. Would tackle. So you do two Big damage. Bear hug. Yep, two damage. Bomb. Caterpie looks injured as it goes in for another tackle. <laughs> You're my last shot, Caterpie. Ah, oh, come on, do another bear hug. One. The bloom used tackle. One success. Yay. And with a smack, Kabloom knocks out this Caterpie. <laughs> Caterpie, come back! And then he pulls it back into a Pokeball and he collapses to his knees. He says, beaten by a girl. <laughs> you did it, Stormy! <laughs> Amazing! And, well then he, and then he pulls Thank out you. like a five yen coin and then two yen coin and then hands them to you. Oh, thanks. So seven yen. Seven yen. Do, should I add that to my inventory? No, because there's no currency <laughs> being spent on this island, but it's customary. Okay. <laughs> Stormy will come over and be like, that was a good battle. And she'll hold out her hand. And he stands up and shakes your hand. And then he's like, I think you'll agree that even though your Pokemon is really good, bug Pokemon are better. Mm. And he pulls his net out and starts running around like an like <laughs> absolute Wait, threat. wait, wait. What's your name? My name Callum. Ah, oh, I don't know any Callums. Okay. You do now. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Kabloom. And I'll give Kabloom a hug. Did did L immediately charge into a leadership position that she then relinquished by immediately battling and then winning? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she, she also got two experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she beat two, beat two Pokemon. Pokemon. So that's the well perk. Done. Trainer battles don't end with you potentially so, catching Pokemon, but they do end cool. potentially with more experience. Cool, cool, cool. And so she uh, got two for that one Pokemon. That for that one battle for the one Pokemon that battled. If two Pokemon battle in... You Pokemon. split it. Ah, gotcha. Okay, cool. So, uh... Round it up, or how's that work if it's yeah. like? Mm. We'll figure it out. We'll later. figure it out. Okay, but uh, but also higher level Pokemon, higher evolution Pokemon will give you a bit more. So it yeah. might be you get two from killing, beating, fainting, killing. one yeah. killing, <laughs> what murdering. And with that victorious, glorious Pokemon battle, we're still on Route Three. Who's taking the lead? <laughs> uh, that would be Melanie. Well, 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 you know what's crazy? Oh, sorry, I went to show the map moves. and it wasn't there. Yeah, it was just uh yeah, that's the that's the problem with the map. I think yeah. I need to be in charge of just the map. Okay. Can we organize that? I feel like we need another screen that always has always the has map. the map. Okay. Yeah. That's manageable. Yeah. Um so the strangest thing with Melanie being in the lead is we won't find out what she does until next year. <gasps> oh next wow. year. That's so far away. Yeah. Why is that, dear narrator? That's because next week we have our Christmas special when Rob's coming to visit Yay! and Jazz is running the story. Oh. And then we have one week off. Please don't forget we exist, which is what <laughs> usually happens when people take a week off on YouTube because Pokemon will be right back at the start of next year. Yeah, like we'll bright and early. It's the 2nd of January, I think, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like next yeah. week yeah. is the, the 19th. We're away for the 26th. People get one day to recover from mm, which is New Boxing Year's. Day, and then the week we're yeah. back in New Year. Amazing. So, yeah. uh, really excited to continue. I've been having a blast. I hope you've all been having yeah. fun. Uh, so much. That was really fun, and it shows like those battles are pretty efficient at this point. Now that we know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah for and, sure. I mean, I, I'm so biased, but that was really fun. <laughs> I, you know what's unique for me and really fun is I'm used to. GMing, I run campaigns, I run campaigns at home and sometimes there's good feelings and sometimes there's bad feelings after like battles. I don't think I've ever experienced in a game that I've run before this intense joy and elation at you capturing a Pokemon. Like yeah, you, you yeah. beat the thing I put in front of you and then I get to be excited as I roll and I'm like, yes, you got it! <laughs> oh, I, I think and then you so get a friend. Like having it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like literally getting, getting the card is really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Yeah, so... That's oh. something to think about, like, for future, like, mm. for whatever we do with Gateway, like, there's something about getting the, the car that's kind of cool. Oh, so, I could adapt yeah. this into a schmonster setting. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. We could do something. Anyway, um, we have a big thank you to give to our dear patrons. We do. And we have some special people to say thank you to in particular. Uh, do we? Do we, we do. indeed? We have some god here. We do have some patrons that haven't been thanked in a day or two. We get uh, the scroll like I so hope you enjoyed the yeah. five minute wait <laughs> before the scroll. We wanted to make it up to you, to you guys by making sure, like, we just, like, holding for effect 
and making sure everyone was paying real good attention for five minutes with nothing on the screen to make sure you would pay attention to the Patreon score. Building anticipation. You have too much effect. (laughs) (laughs) So, holding for applause for 20 minutes. We would like to thank our greatest, well, our highest tier patrons by name with a significant build up the Ho O and Lugia of our world, the Mew and Mewtwo, <laughs> the Kyogre and Grudon. Aww. It oh. is Nick and Tickle Duck. Thank you, guys. Thank you both so much. Champions. Champions. And also, uh, perks is that we're going to get to see. You see some cool characters from God Tears, past and present. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. Yeah, with some art and stuff. It's all coming. Yeah, so yeah. excited. This is fun. I want next year to hurry up. We so. that we met our first patron NPC tonight. Oh, did we? And you'll be meeting them again. Yay. Who do you think it was? It was Silas. It no, was, it was Luca. 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 You didn't meet Silas. Oh, I can't. <laughs> you did it again. I, I love how like, yeah, I'm, I'm really pretending to be a dumb character. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too easy. Your method it's, acting <laughs> is like... <laughs> it's, like it's, Uncomfortably easy. Your character is the dumbest smart person I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Thank you. I think we have an after party. I'm playing myself. We do, oh, we, we do, do have an after party yeah. to go to, so we're going to stop recording. Bye, Thanks recording. for joining us, everyone. Bye, you two. Bye. See you next year or next week for Christmas.